Good morning, my name is Jugnari Torres, and this is page we will talk about the construction of a protocol for the systematic review regarding the different specific didactic strategies used for the development of computational thinking in the female group of primary and secondary education. Nowadays, digital skills are required in both personal life and working environment. For example, online meeting or use of learning online platforms. In case of these skills are not developed, that person will be isolated. In this sense, it's urgent to develop computational thinking in niche and every person in our society. We may define the computational thinking as cognitive ability to solve problems underlying computer programming text. Therefore, this should be gender equity with respect to the people who are educated to develop computational thinking, responding to the fundamental right to education. Consequently, educational action aiming at developing computational thinking dance into a rank that would be applied to the female group all around the world. From this perspective, a systematic review protocol of the literature requires focusing on ensuring whether there are strategies in the teaching and learning on computational thinking from a gender perspective that meet the needs of female group in this area, especially from early age to high school, and it may add at ensuring the development on computational thinking in an equitable way in society and in favor on increasing the presence of women in STEAM context, from the initiation stage of state up to career professional development. Okay, the systematic review protocol aims to collect research articles focused on answering. What are the specific didactic strategies used for the development of computational thinking in the female group in primary and secondary education? This protocol is carried out for a, a systematic review following the guidelines of PRISMA. According to the screening, it seeming that only 15% of the article evaluated develop implementation focus on the development of computational thinking from a gender perspective. Okay, thanks very much.